Perfect. Guys, welcome to our fourth and last demo for today. I will play High Risers. It's a pretty unique indie survival crafting game. I haven't played it yet, so I'm pretty excited to see what I will expect and what I will play. But I'm not alone here. I hope you can hear me. With me is Nico from the developer team, Solo Pirate Games. Hi, Nico. Welcome. Hi. Nice. Hi, guys. <laughs> I think uh, everyone can hear you properly. Yes. Okay, so I'm back in the stream right now. So, Nico, tell me something about High Risers. What are you doing there? What what uh, what is your what are your daily tasks? Nico, are you with me? I think you just muted yourself. <laughs> so now ah, we talk. Okay, no worries. Hi, I just <laughs> wanted to know what I. Uh, yeah, what are your tasks when you are developing high risers? Um, what are you doing? I'm a, a kind of check of all trades guy. So mm -hmm. um, I identify as, as a game designer. That's my main um, passion. But since we're such a small team, I'm also in charge of most of the programming stuff and a um, bit of art direction. Okay, so kind of the all rounder, you could say. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Ah, cool. Yeah, interesting. So, um, yeah, as I told you before, I've never played High Resos, so I'm I'm pretty curious what to expect, and I hope I will be able to, um, yeah, to play it fine. Let me just check. I think the game doesn't have control uh, support, right? Should I play no. it with keyboard and mouse better? Okay. Yeah, keyboard and mouse. That's the way to go. And I will just. Um. Uh, Disconnect the controller, or do I have to do it? I don't have to do it. Okay, so I hope this won't bother me. Then, if you don't mind, let's just jump right into it. Let's okay, so we in. have the controls. Okay, so we are we have survivors here. So this game is about surviving. Mm -hmm. You have four survivors, and um, they're on the um, on the side of the uh, screen. You will see the the menu in the inventory. While the game itself takes place in uh, a high-rise building, Ooh, I can already I already have access to all of them. Oh, yeah, cool. in the, um, okay. you control okay. all four and you select them okay. by clicking on the on their menus on the left. Ah, yeah, so, okay. But uh, that's a bit confusing in the beginning. So if you click on on them in the screen, you don't select them. You have to select them on the. Ah, okay, I understand. Okay, left. okay, okay. And you can also fast select them with one, two, three, four. So ah, just okay, yes, I think they will. I will try. Yeah, okay, do it like that. Yeah. Can I move? And okay, like this by clicking. Okay. Exactly, and I suggest um, uh, with the mouse wheel or the arrow keys, you can scroll through the building. Okay, and I also see you integrated the full screen today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for that. That's really kind of you. Okay, so we are starting at the top, actually, not at the bottom. Exactly, because you can scroll yeah. down to the bottom. <gasps> um, you could you could also use the, the minimap, also a new feature, on, on the right side. And then you see that um, the building is already occupied by some of the dreamers. Dreamers are um, the zombie-like creatures in, in our game, mm -hmm. and they they don't like the light, so they usually stick to the to the urban canyons and the lower floors during the day. But at night, um, they will come up and try to get those who have not yet been transformed. Okay. So, um, so they're kind of just... corrupted people. Or... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, if you scroll down or. or just leave your guys up here for a minute and just scroll down mm -hmm. and then you can see that they're uh, the lower you get the more they are so here is just a single one this black dude mm -hmm. but if you get um ah, deeper, yeah, okay. deeper, you see it you gets see more, more dangerous okay i understand yeah. i mean it makes sense and of course you are unable your, your task is to leave the building or to leave the city but it's impossible to leave the city or the building through the uh, through the ground floor because the streets are totally crowded. There's like hundreds, thousands of them. So the only chance is the helicopter up on the rooftop. And I suggest that we just go inspect it. Ah, okay. Select crowd. 
Okay. Um, one question. Can can I select all of them? Somehow? No. Ah, okay. You only so. have one uh, one active player. Um, you can um, if you click on the on the menu, you select them. But if you click on the portrait, you select them, and it also um, zooms okay. there. Or if you double click um, one of the. Uh, Ah, okay, so if I'm Numbers. here and then I want to know yeah. what's with her or what's... Ah, okay, okay, cool. So we can click, click let's jump just there. See. Guys, go up there. <laughs> music is awesome. Is, uh, did you also compose the music? No, no. Um, I spent a uh, lot of time with Simon, our audio guy, who is a um, really great, great artist. And we, we like, we overhaul the, the theme that we had because our intention was to make one theme that continues through the day and changes with daytime so you have um, right now um, it's probably um, um, I've, I've deactivated music so that I don't have to the, I don't hear myself I have the stream silence no, so no, no worries no worries um, so and and, and at the new, at the high time of the day, it's like it's more energetic and it's a bit, bit of metal or electronic because that's the the theme that we associate with our survivors. Because what they do is they craft and they disassemble everything and they repair a lot. So that's at high noon. But the later it gets, the more mysterious and calm and depressing things mm -hmm. get. So here we have the three. Um, the three things that are damaged for a helicopter. The helicopter, it's actually, it's a wreckage, it's crap. It will never fly um, long distances again. But we can maybe fix it up so they can make a small jump to the next building. Mm -hmm. And so the game is that you um, work yourself building for building uh, through, the, through the city. And um, okay. for the demo, we only have one building and we have three randomly generated uh, damages. And this is what's damaged. And on the on, in the middle, you see what you need and how much you need. So this is our primarily, uh, primary objective, to get this stuff in this amount up to the helicopter so that we can fix mm -hmm. what's being damaged. Ah, okay, understood. So these are kind of like the ingredients I have to get. Exactly. To like, get it work. Okay. So Spencer said he loves the artwork and the style. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess we need to go down to get those. <laughs> exactly, and not all of them will be lying around, so most of the stuff you have to get through disassembly. Whatever is interactive here has this uh, mouse over thingy, and then you can either collect it or disassemble it or do something with it. Shake. Ah, yeah, and yeah, it only it will only happen once she's there or, or once the. Uh, now I can collect the stuff. Yeah, we could have Ooh. also collected it from the. Oops, sorry, I must click. I think. <laughs> yeah, it just just exit it. Wrong. If you click on the active character itself, you can construct stuff on the on the spot where it's where it is. Um, ah, uh, okay, that's why he's highlighted. Okay, understood. Yeah. So let's let's run with this. I think uh, this is also maybe something. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, to collect. Uh, one question: Do I have to use everyone when I go down, or is one fine at the beginning? One is fine. Okay, so okay. Uh, the idea is that this assembly of stuff takes a lot of time. So um, ideally, ah! um, if you have four of them, you just give them orders to disassemble, do something useful while you actively play with one or two. Um, electronic devices have to be switched off before you can disassemble them. Obviously. Oh, that's that's such a good concept. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she's now, and now our last guy, he's, he's up front. Oh no, she's also there. Also good. Um, is there a way I can check how much I've collected already for the helicopter? Um, you could have selected one of those recipes as active. Maybe that's um, a good task that you could try. If you select one of the, of the guys, go up to this workbench, please. Doesn't matter which one, just one of them. Ah, no, that's not what I, what I meant. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, could I also do. Yeah, now let's just uh, go to the workbench for uh, for starters. Ah, to the uh, workbench. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, meanwhile, guys, disassemble. <laughs> ah, 
Oh, wow, so, you can craft so much stuff. Exactly. Okay, and that's where, where you need the ingredients. Some of the stuff that we need for helicopter repairs, maybe we don't find them directly in the building. Like I saw hydraulic thinners, I think. Maybe we have to craft them and then we have to collect the stuff for that. So obviously it's a demo that's not yet content complete. So some of those yeah, sure, uh, options it's every are... Demo, but, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess if our uh, um, he wants to fight, then let's. Okay, and then ah, and I don't have it. But that's not a big deal because now you can you can put them on the um, uh, on the workbench. So it says it needs one wooden pole and five screws. And actually, I think they're already lying on the on this floor. Ah, here. Okay, okay, okay. No, uh, on the thirty-five. Yeah, exactly. And you see now, um, Jess, Jess is the, the, the girl in red you're currently playing with, and her inventory up in the in the upper left, it's full. She has eight slots and all of them are uh, used. Okay, and now I can craft... no. Yeah, you can. And you have to put it, um, you have to drag it into the crafting area. So don't cancel it. Don't cancel it. <laughs> okay. Now I got it. So <laughs> and now I have to add those? No, not uh, not here. Uh, just um, start the recipe once again. Like this? Uh, on the, on the, yeah, like this. And now um, go up to, uh, with your mouse to the, one of the slots of uh, her inventory. Yeah, and from here you can drag it. Ah, okay, okay. And, yeah, in one of those green areas. So now I can actually just drop all my stuff on the workbench? It will, it, it will ignore the, those which it does not require. Um, but um, you can do it, but you could also leave it. Um, because uh, you already have enough. If you now take the workbench, you have the option to craft. Okay, this one's too big. This one's also too big. Can I leave them? I can also leave them on the floor. You huh? can leave them on the floor, sure. So this is like where we'll collect everything. Okay, so if I want to craft now the weapon, ah, oh, now it's possible. Ah -ha. Okay, and now the others were lazy and didn't do anything. Guys, yeah. disassemble. <laughs> Oh, there's the weapon. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I, now we uh, have a weapon. Okay, but there's a lot to disassemble first. So it's a, a much micromanagement, <laughs> like uh, I need to check, uh, give everyone tasks. Yeah, the, our plan is that the. Uh, um, to make much of the task very long time, so like um, they're, that they're actually like occupied for three or four minutes, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to worry that they um, that they idle and um, get bored, and so that certain upgrades which speed up tasks actually have a meaning. Because right now, um, for the demo, we have set the, the values pretty pretty low, so you can uh, complete your task um, very quick. But um, the idea is that um, actually you have to decide which task to address first because there's so much stuff to disassemble and to craft and to do, and only for for pair of hands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Where of the dreamers survive the night? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, everyone, come up. The, the threat by the dreamers will increase each night and it will also increase with each building. So this is your first night, so you still have um, okay. like uh, so no one will come. a bit of new protection. <laughs> um, maybe not no one, <laughs> but they, they will not over, over ram you uh, completely. Okay, okay. Ah! Okay, then just stay close, guys, and 
the one here will <laughs> take care of everything. Hi, Formula, welcome back to the stream. She must be down there. Someone will attack her. And I also like the minimap where I can see where everyone is. So later on there will be like in different places. One is on top, one is somewhere in the middle, one is below fighting, I guess. Exactly. Well, uh, like um, above floor 30 or even 25, I don't think that we have much to fear. You can just scroll down and check if you, um, if you want to see what the dreamers are doing. Um, we have not uh, enabled fog of war or something, so you can you can see whatever's there, and you don't have to move your your players down there. You can leave your players up and just move the camera down and look oh, what's okay. going on. But I want to fight. <laughs> Joking. Ah, uh, uh, here there are. Oh, okay, there are many. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the deeper you get, wow. the more there are. And so many hours with each daylight? passing second in the building, um, they get more. So if you like, it's your first night, it's still pretty easy. But oh um, like on night five or six, okay. they already come seriously on knocking uh, at your door. Which uh, reminds me that we should um, place some something between us and them and um, you've already done this um, several times in involuntarily um, by clicking on the active active player if you um, do that then this construction menu comes up with stuff you can build on the fly and there is only one thing you can build at the moment it's barricade okay so in case i need to protect against some waves mm -hmm. okay 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 cool so at night the gameplay changes a bit into a tower defense like style. It's not so um, so heavy yet in, in, in this demo, so you can still survive and explore without um, building barricade on the first night. But on a third night I think it makes sense, especially since we want to um, venture further down, because yeah. downstairs there's often the interesting stuff. But there's so much to... <laughs> well, we have to, we have to, uh, we have to prioritize what, um, what are we focusing on. So the main, main task was the, the three recipes in the helicopter. Um, we can recheck, we can also set one active so that we can always see by scrolling up to the helicopter which, uh, what stuff do we require. require. Like, um, you set one recipe active for the, for the workbench when you started the uh, Spike Club. And then there were those uh, ingredient displays showing you, ah, we, you need wooden pole and, and screws. You can do the same for the helicopter. Uh, the helicopter itself also works as a crafting station. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I have to go up and check again what it needs. Mm -hmm. But it seems like uh, as if you have already uh, at the end of first night, so not much did happen. Okay, exactly. Those three, cylinder. yeah, those three are like um, normal recipes. So we need the hydraulic cylinder, food, well, food. cylinder, food, exo. Okay, and now I need to check below here. You can you can uh, start the crafting already. Ah, yeah, you cancel okay. just uh, you, um, if you go back to the helicopter yeah. mm -hmm. and select a recipe because it doesn't hurt. Um, just uh, say okay, we want to do that now. We don't have the stuff here, but if you click, now you have those um, indicators okay. here. So whenever you um, need to know what do I need for this recipe, just scroll up to the helicopters and you see it. And maybe we already have some of the stuff. Let's see. No. No. Okay. Is it possible that? Uh, this is something I need to craft, or are these stuff I can yeah. find? Um, it's possible that you uh, need to craft it. Oh, yeah. The game guarantees that there are enough, that what either enough of those okay. stuff is in the building, or that there are enough resources to craft it. Um, so the code takes care yes. of uh, that you're not like locked out of progress. But sure, um, the stuff can be hidden. 
is the plan? Uh, somewhere in inside of a box or uh, some other mm -hmm. container or a piece of furniture. Or uh, sometimes there are not the sufficient um, items themselves. Um, then you have to craft them, if possible. Okay, then maybe I should check what I need to craft uh, for the cylinder. The cylinder could be... Okay, there's our weapons, barricades, traps. Ah, oh, here it is. Castle, and now I can click here and then I have an active recipe yeah. at the workbench, correct? Exactly. Oh, okay, and this one, I know this one I collected. Ah, uh, cooling you can You can just click it and then uh, you will see over the workbench. Because ah. you don't have to do it in the end. Uh, if you decide, no, I don't, then you just click the workbench and, and abort this mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, So you have the, um, the, oh. the indicators. Okay, so I have to yes. uh, collect of this, if please. Of and now yes. this one here. So I have... Yay, first recipe almost done. Oh, this is... Um something we need here so can i ah i can just tell her like yeah, you this. can put it next to the to the exactly mm -hmm. in the blue area you can just store everything you need for a helicopter up there even if it's not part of this recipe um but it should already yeah and now it says one of five um where do you collect uh, most of, of this stuff just on the well, floor there the was, workbench? There or? was um, a metal shelf next to your workbench, but you were so eager to disassemble it that now you only have <laughs> <laughs> <off> the floor. <laughs> really? I disassembled my storage? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I was too eager, yeah. Yes. Uh, that, I just make uh, a, a storage on the floor. Everything yeah, will be... Fine. <laughs> everything will be lying in here. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, what? So who has there's empty one. You. There's one bug in the in the current build. You cannot um, morph stacks in the world. So like you uh, just put um, metal sheets down and um, two slots away. There are also metal sheets. You cannot put metal sheets on metal sheets, which is really annoying. But if you collect them, you can morph them in in your inventory, ah, and then you can make bigger understood. stacks. That they stick stack. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, but guys. Well, I recommend that you um, set them out. Um, just um, go around, disassemble stuff, and you can also um, like scroll down with the camera and go looking for for things. Um, if there's a big canister with a with cooling fluid on it, or maybe it will help you a bit. Alrighty. Wait, one is doing nothing. Shoot. Okay. Oh, okay. And then later you know which objects give you which. It's a little bit you learn from it, but in most of the times we we use um, we try to apply logic. So for example, um, on the on the lowest floor in the screen you see this table made of glass and and and, and metal. Um, uh, if you disassemble it, I bet, it, it, I don't know it out of my head, but it will probably leave you a glass pane and some, some, some mm -hmm. metal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, it makes sense that if you disassemble what? something with wood. Exactly. Okay. And the, the washing machines on floor 30, probably there are some, some valves, holes, water pump. The out, and the outer body is probably a metal sheet or something. So um, there was this boxing, this punching bag, this boxing sack hanging there. I think you got some sand out of it and if you continue you will get probably a chain and some leather. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you, you can expect by looking on, on it, it's it's probably gonna pop out. Okay. Oops. No, 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 don't cancel. Let's break it apart. Take this um, okay, so we need... Um, if you look to the on the on the inventory, you see this large red bar. That's your health. And below there is um, a small blue bar. That's your hunger. And your hunger is like 50% for everybody or already depleted. So we should try to get some food. Oh dear. 
<laughs> okay. I get. I'm. I'm already. No, I'm joking. I'm fine. Um, okay. So maybe we have to do here. I need to destroy it. She can destroy it. Bam. Yay! <laughs> okay. How can I pick it up? Pick it up? Okay. If you want to consume it, you must only uh, track it onto this portrait. Okay, yeah, you can also do that. Okay, cool. Does alcohol count? No. <laughs> <laughs> but the beverages in the in the tea can, they oh, will. Okay. Oh, that's sweet that you can give food to each other. Fans friendly likes the game, very cool. great ideas. Yeah, I also think there's so much stuff together in one, like a genre mix, or a, a mechanic mix, <laughs> game mechanic mix, you could say. Oh, there's more food, I think. Yeah. Okay, so here's and our food you, guy. You know, the, the, you set me this glass table, and now we have metal and glass paint lying there, so. Uh, ah, I here. Not both of you. Glass. But we still have no progress on those cooling fluids. I think we need two cooling fluids to construct the, yes. uh, the hydraulic cylinder. And for the recipe itself, we also need cooling fluids. So maybe we should get sure. looking lower, lower floors for them. Because up yeah, here. There's not much to do. Okay. Where could we find. Oh, can I use that? Um, you can use it as a crafting steering, but you cannot yet uh, use it to build fires because you don't have a fire mechanic in the game yet. Uh -huh. So those um, cooling fluids, they are blue plastic canisters, um, like on the lowest floor when it comes to where the machines are, in the garbage piles, there is one canister, it's a green one, it's an acid. Huh? Acid. Yeah, and below that, there is a blue one with ah, a light purple. Cool. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know why, I just want to disassemble everything on the upper floor. So <laughs> but I understand I have to, to progress and keep moving. Okay, so we have one cooling fluid. Um, mate, go up there. That was for... You don't have to, you don't have to bring it up. Um, stay, stay down there because we had something interesting uh, on the floor below I. I guess the, the blue character. Um, okay. You can send um, some, some reinforcement down there. Because if you get a little lower, there was another crafting station that allows for different crafting. That's the lab table. Here you can, um, well, on the workbench, it's more mechanical driven stuff. Here it's uh, things that are more scientific, chemical, maybe some electronics. And I think that there was a way to maybe craft cooling fluid, I'm not sure. Um, ah, but we need this one. Mm -hmm. Fuel. Oh, well, okay. And what else? This one not. Ah, okay, so I can also uh, craft stuff to do myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, but at least I can craft. Oh, wait. Is the fluid? No, alcohol, alcohol. Chemicals. Yeah, fuel coal. Okay. Okay. But fuel um, coal, okay. Then I can craft more of these. Okay. And uh, yeah, you said I don't need to go up, I can like do this. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to. Um... 
And if you do that, Ike will walk up. So if you focus on him now, he started walking. You cannot, uh, we cannot trans metal Yeah, I, yeah, yeah sure. It makes sense. You could pick up all those metal sheets you have there and make one large step. Uh, these ones, yeah? Metal panel, you mean? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal panel, steel pipe. I think those were, that's all. But you can also merge the pipes. Um, yeah. We have um, already planned for um, like when you when you pick up stuff, that that graphical asset is called a wire stack. It's like those pipes are just uh, laying around on the on the floor without much order. Once you pick them up and lay them down, they're more neatly ordered. If you put them in shelves, they will get even more neatly ordered and have like a perfectly ordered look. So for all those uh, players who who like their stuff neat and tidy. Um, you will be able to, to like build a, a shelf and sort your stuff in. Yeah, I, I can see myself doing that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wait, don't do it. Um, okay, wood, wood. Here's something. Fox, I think I found them also here. Yeah. We must try to stay well fed if we're going to survive. Oops, okay. Yeah, let's find food. Um, lady, go on. You go find food. Uh, vending machine, no. Oh, other ladies. <laughs> Maria fully concentrated. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of stuff to collect and find and craft. So yes. surely, and many games today where I need yes. to concentrate. Yes. <laughs> um, metal panel, metal panel. Okay, we have enough of those. I uh, watched you in your previous streams and uh, in in Lacuna in the beginning you were very relaxed with the relaxing music. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I like variation. I like both. So. It's totally fine. Um, uh, but, but currently in high-res, at all the stress areas you're making your, yourself because yeah, I think so room. too. Yeah, I think dreamers so. Dreamers have not yeah, you, yet. Yeah, you with your, I need food, and the dreamers will come, and I'm like, oh no, oh no. But uh, and, uh, and the fifth night will be terrible, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, you're right, you're right. I think. Uh, well, if you want to make sure, you can decide on one floor, and we build a barricade there. Then at least they won't get any. Further. Although, a word of advice, the barricade, um, you can, to defend it, you need, you, need a, you either need a ranged weapon or um, a spear, like a long pole weapon with which you can operate over the barricade. The, the spike club you have, it's nice, but it won't work over the barricade. Uh, understood. So then I can like, have a like, defense mm. and then attack the enemies. Yeah. Eat some acid cleaner. <laughs> Um, okay. And I think you can drop the rest of it. I'm listening. If that's where you play it. Yes. Spruce. Where were the spruce? If that's where you need me. If that's where you need me. That's possible. It's interesting because as a developer, you ram. When you don't do events like this or do playtesting, you never see other people playing. You always playing yourself and it's um, yeah. you like concentrate and focus on the, on the task you, you start to see and you, you do at the, at the moment um, now that I see you play playing what do you I think maybe um, with with um, furniture we have this interaction shake so How I think I maybe it even works for the workbench yes. if you say all, all the stuff that's there I don't want to manually pick it up and sort just shake it down um, maybe we should do this, something like that for ah uh, no, it doesn't really have it. Uh, not while while the recipe is, is on at least. Mm. Maybe we should add an option for for the player, like drop uh, all your stuff uh, so right maybe, where you yeah, are. Yeah, I understand why, because sometimes maybe you, you just put 
prepare for the recipe and put all the stuff on the table. And when you're done, you don't need it anymore. So then you can yeah, maybe just uh, drop it. That's a cool idea. Okay, so now we can explore awesome. with her a little more deeper. Um, what do we need again? Oh, we need, oh no, I put the pipes away. No, 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 that, I didn't want to do that. Pipes, go back there. Cooling fluid, one. Okay, so we don't only need one more. Let me just collect. Ah. Okay. I don't know why I just put everything I had <laughs> a lot of on the table with it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it and I was thinking. <laughs> and you were like, like, what are you doing? It will bite you in the ass, but um, <laughs> let her have her way. <laughs> okay. Light emitting. I think the, the biggest problem is this um, cylinder. I haven't seen one yet. Have you? Mm, no, not uh, not yet. But we we will just do step by step. No worries. Okay, so do it and this thingy. What what is it called again? Can I click on it? Um, there there used to be. Um, those mouse over hovers, but I see they they don't work here for this place. Right. I'm sorry. This one. It's and for this we needed coal, I think, and something else. Coal and fuel. Yes. Fuel fuel. Yes. 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 Okay. That's uh, yes. in red That's cherry cans. <gasps> Already here. Oh no. Uh, uh, here, front girl. The the red one is called Jess. She's the one. Um, Equip with a spike club. I think with one dreamer on on bright in bright daylight, she will uh, will be able to manage. Oh, there are two. <laughs> so what? I I won't manage them. <laughs> uh, yes, you will. Okay. Um, if you, you click on them, then she attacks them. Um, you can if you put uh, control while you uh, do it, and your mouse cursor changes into an attack symbol, then it will um, ignore all other stuff. It's sometimes helpful because you want to click on the dreamer, but you actually uh, accidentally hit um, some machinery in the background. So if you use the control button, you can be sure that you you hit the dreamer. So they will try to grab you, which is not such a bad thing if they're alone because no, nothing can happen. But if they're like five of them, one grabs you, you're immobilized, and the other four will attack. Mm, yeah, that's that's not good. Okay, let's check this one. Rubber, fire, extinguish. Uh, what do you suggest? Those. Machine, machine. Let's check out this. Ah, the piston. Piston was the word I uh, was missing. The, I, I call it cylinder. It's the, the one that goes into the engine that moves up up and down. I uh, was missing the English word. It's What's piston. Hmm. Okay. And I have not yet found one. And we need one for the hydraulic cylinder. Okay, okay. It doesn't look like something we need. No. You can open the card box. So sometimes there's stuff in there. Ah, these ones. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the one that Ike just shook out of the shelf. Go ahead. I'm going. So this fella is Ike. Yeah. Stuff Ike is the blue okay. one. The uh, red girl is Jess. Anne is the green scientist, sure. and I'm the uh, big yellow dude is Mo. Sure. Mm -hmm. We should write the names. Okay. <laughs> you do a little QA <laughs> with me, I see. Wire, paper. Oh, okay, your sheep part. Assembled a little. What do I get from there? Oh. Okay, go on. Then you there is a, there's a piston, a piston, a piston. See, beside the machinery. Wait, what? This one? Uh, no, no, no. The, the gray machinery, one floor below. Yes, now I uh, now I also see the icon. Ah, okay, great. We're progressing already. Yeah. And two floors below that, I okay, see at least a red cherry can, which could contain fuel. Red cherry can. Yeah, the the red oh, fuel this one. canister. Uh, no, that's acid. Two floors below the red one. Ah, but it's empty. Darn. Okay, I 
I need to go down with her. Oh, so much food here. Yeah, maybe we should um, establish, um, decide on one floor and then establish the, um, the barricade because now the streamers are already on that level. Mm. Makes sense. But that means we should get a spear also. The barricade, it needs, I think, if I could recall correctly, mostly boards, screws, and metal, which is... Yeah, which not... we all have. Okay, then yeah. I will just collect with her the food because we're getting also hungry. Mm -hmm. And one floor below, between the white and the blue machine, I see a small um, package of axle grease. Anything here? Yep. Bye, I'm not here. Wait, no, no, no. Take it closer. Oh, no, she's full. Ah, uh, wait, no problem. She's just, just eat an apple or so. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she's red. She likes for this. <laughs> okay, great. Then we will defend this room. This one is our food room. Uh, wait, let me just go up with her. So I don't accidentally... Oh, she can also feed her. Oh, sorry. This way. And I... You will craft the stump stuff now. Or maybe him. He's here. Okay, so we want... I oh, know I have to cancel the recipe, correct? Yeah, but it, uh, it, it, it doesn't hurt, so you don't lose anything. You're, mm -hmm. It's just cancel it and um, set a new one. You have not spent any any resources yet. So. wire, metal bar. No, metal, metal bars are on the on the right side, the, above or beneath the large the large gear. What? Where? Yeah, yeah, you were right. A bit, a bit more to the right. Um, I see a bit a bit of delay between. Um, ah, sorry, yeah. yeah. And there's another gear, and above ah, or below there. there's metal. Thing, yeah. Okay, now I got it. Ah, no, we don't have it yet. Uh, we need a uh, wooden pole and not wooden board. Um, the... Ah, okay, okay, okay. But you can still already co co um, accept the recipe. It doesn't hurt, you don't have to that. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, then I can just click here and then I see the symbol. Okay, but uh, do I need to craft maybe from normal wood? Um, I think the poles are already there, just below that stack of, of wood that you were on the left, with, uh, next ah, to the bottom. yes, you are right. So good I have you here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mo, let's grab some. Then, while we're up here, I recommend, you know, all the takes to here, but also the materials that we'll need for our barricade which is steel, wood, and screws. Okay, we have those. Um, let me take this one. There's more. Just... Yeah, and a bit more. We have the boards, but also and we don't we, uh, we don't need to craft here at the at the workbench. Ah, yes, you said I can click on the person. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so let me just collect the stuff again. Okay. Here down. And take the take the the, the um, big pile of wood too. Um, yeah, you can now decide on which level you want to uh, build it. Um, you can also like click on the menu or right click on the mouse to board if you just want to. Not so do I build it like like um, next to the walls, like left and right side? Um, it's um, they have a minimum space requirement which must be fulfilled. Um, as long as that uh, is the case, it uh, you don't have to worry about. So you can already build it in a very deep space, it will still block the passage for them. 
So I think here it doesn't work. Ah uh, yes, I'm... because the objects are blocking it. Maybe, yeah. maybe I can build it here. No, okay, then so first I have maybe to have assemble to... stuff. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, no problem. Then I will... Yeah, click it on uh, somewhere outside of the building area in the menu. Oh, okay. Alright, girls. Assemble stuff. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot to put him. Um, yeah, later. Oh, and they also can't work together on one object, and I see. No, not, not mm -hmm. at the moment. We have that in, but it um, caused some, some irregularities, and for now we've um, we've disabled this option. But uh, once the skills are in, then it will become very useful, because then like um, you have a skill tree for each character, which is not active in this demo yet, mm -hmm. but um, you could watch it if you want to, because it, it visually it's already there, it's the symbol in the stream, it's like behind behind you, behind where you are in the stream, there's this small tree icon on the, below the minimap. Oops. Oh no, I clicked, <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, no. crashed the game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's not your fault. <laughs> don't worry. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. I think I clicked on the object when it was still processing that I uh, was building it. Uh, still, of course, it shouldn't happen. That's always uh, that's uh, the, the greatest fear of developer watching uh, his game played in online stream. <laughs> like, oh no, it, it crashed. Everybody saw it. It's not perfect. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. It's a demo. No one will. Um, Let's do it. No one will. Uh, uh, no harm done, as Paul <laughs> Butler said. Yeah, um, Butler. Well, so, now we already know um, how it it works. So you yes, see, the building yes. is different now. This, this it was a good training, and yeah, I see it's very different now. So I have a tons of plants here now, and the dreamer already here. What? What is he doing here? in uh, some arcade things. Okay, oh, that that's cool. Oh, and I like that the bench is already here. Okay, so first uh, let's okay. check. Check the helicopter again. Uh, helicopter. Now watch and see what I have learned. <laughs> okay, find the needed parts. Yes, I know that. Ah, okay, they're also different now. Yep. But every time it's okay, okay, okay. Okay, wire is good. Insulator, I have no idea. Or a ceramic element with a very high electric resistance. Okay, large battery. Okay, so maybe the arcade thingies will help us. And I have to repair all three things. Right? All three, yeah, okay. to get the helicopter started. Gears, spray. But it's, it seems we are focused now with this. Um, this run on on electronic components. We have wired twice. We have battery. We have so uh, you could focus on uh, by disassembling on anything that looks uh, at least um, electronic. Mm, in, okay, in understood. So when you're searching for something, you also try to assemble the right things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Let's see what That's we have what found. Ceramic vase. Ah oh, no, but it's not. Ah oh, damn, I thought it would uh, drop this other thing we needed. Okay, why are we need? Please assemble the PC. Oh, I love it. Now, now the perfect would be if we would have the cafeteria room somewhere. Okay, but at least some vending machines. And here's a lot of food. Okay, this this is this one's better. <laughs> Uh, do you experience that uh, sometimes you just restart because uh, you want to have like different, I don't know, a different layout of the building? Uh, we do it for for testing, because, but but when I'm playing, I uh, of course I take what I I take what I what the game offers me, so that. Um, ah, okay. 
maybe maybe there will be a thing for players like that. There's a, um, they say, hey, at the beginning, the, the easiest oh. building would be a factory building or uh, an office building or so. And maybe they recommend one day to restart until you get that. <laughs> I don't know. I remember we needed this for something. So I just put it right here. What was it again? Let's check. Ah, here. Spring 12. Okay. Good. Then let's go down again. Assemble stuff. Uh, copy machine. Good. Have what we yeah. need. You go PC. Yeah. You go land. Oh, there's something hidden. Fire extinguisher. Sometimes um, spawns stuff in it, so. Hey, you found the insulator! That's cool! Yeah, I also <laughs> thought, ah, oh, I think we needed that one. Yeah, the, the tree looked big. <laughs> I think in the, in the, in the class um, cupboard there's all more wire. Yeah, yeah you can keep When you shake it and the doors are still closed, it's the only stuff that lies on the top of the cupboard. If it's too 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 uh, fiddly to, to to get it out, you can always shake it. Then um, stuff falls on the floor and you can really pick it up. Wait, I have everyone together and I can feed them. No, I don't need to feed them. Alright. <laughs> ah, and this is the cooling clue. Okay, so it's always in this blue box. So you really have to check out the items and the description and stuff like that. Oh, there's food actually right here. Wow. Well, Okay, yeah, I want to check out what I can do right here. Goose, yeah, I mean, I need stuff 
have like that's the other weapons. Then. I'll start the so, disassembly. I think I will just disassemble everything we have here. Yeah. Same Check uh, what we needed again. Also wires. <laughs> Maybe another weapon. <laughs> yeah, but if you want to build a barricade, then a spear is the thing to go. Mm. Oh yes, what do I need for barricade? Um, Wood, screw, spear. Okay, and if I do this... Wait. Where can I build it already? Uh, here, you can, all, you, can, you can build it here. But um, the question is, ah, will it's it help just the construction here? side. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah. Okay, but that's cool. I like it. Then if I see the ingredients, then it's uh, easier. For ingredients is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Uh, um, actually, in the code we call it ingredients. It's oh really? <laughs> crafting ingredients. Then it's fine. Don't start worrying me again. <laughs> I really, really like uh, the look of the buildings in the background with the slides. So where's the first dreamer? Okay, on floor 13. Drop it here. What now? Uh -huh. we'll what is the plan? Yeah, it is, it's Yay, I did it! <laughs> Shake <laughs> just destroy everything. Everything we built for. <laughs> okay, so he's now he has a, a longer task. I'm listening. What do we have here? I would recommend leave her on that floor for now. Because um, the, the barricades, ah. when they're built, um, sometimes what? it's um, you can lock yourself out, so you need someone outside of the barricade, or you're, um, you will have locked yourself out. So, so Mo now is in the middle of the of the construction site, constructing the barricade, mm -hmm. but Code is still a bit buggy there. It is possible that he completes the barricade and now stands outside of it, and he cannot in uh, get in because you can only open the barricade from the inside. So it's, it's a good, it's a safety measure that you keep Anne one floor above because if he would him, lock himself out, she could open the barricade. Mm -hmm. So that's not a feature; it's it's a bad <laughs> possible thing. Could be. Okay, it's possible to trap yourself. I understood. Yeah. How can I help? Of course, agree. No, no, no. Uh, agree. Of course. Yeah, I will. I think I will That's find possible. here That's all possible. the ingredients I'll start the we will need for weapons. So I think it's even... Ah, okay, this is how it looks. Ah, understood. Yeah, we were lucky he's, he's on, the, on, the, on the right side, but it could have um, been if things were uh, would have worked uh, worse out for us, it would have um, ended up on the outside and say, yeah, okay, I finished the barricade. Uh, <laughs> I will die here now. <laughs> okay. 
Um, okay, for this one, I need the weapon. Do I have the ingredients yet? Um... On the weapons, I need to go to the board, right? I oh, know, but yeah. she, I have to wait for her. Okay. How can I help? Uh, okay, you can't, of course, walk straight there because you built a barricade in between. Ah, I can't go there anymore? You can't go there anymore. At least not while the barricade is closed. You have to open the barricade. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's how this. Okay, but for now, I mean, we have no enemies left. Uh, yeah, no you can leave it open. That's fine. And, and that's why I what I meant. You cannot open it from the outside. Mm -hmm. And if O would have been on, ended up on the right side, he would have stood there and like. Mm. Okay. I'm and you uh, would have been unable to reach your helicopter, which sucks. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, then if fight. Uh, what? What? The, what? Those noise forward lights <laughs> just wrote it. He just realized that they talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. Maybe I have uh, uh, the sound is uh, is not loud enough. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, so, lady with the weapon, where are you? Uh, Go on. Ah, oh, there. Of course. There it is. Okay. We use uh, kind of a, like um, a design right. from, from real time strategy game. So, when you click on the unit, it says, like, um, uh, yes, sir, uh, acknowledge, affirmative, so that you have those, those, those voice commands that How you know. Um, that those things uh, work and that's the, the same concept we used here for those four mm -hmm. guys but um, with the real time strategy game you have like um, just sure, you mentioned close. Starcraft if you if you play with uh, with Protoss you have like 12 different types of units or so here we only have four which means that we need more yes. um, variation in their replies because um, those things repeat mm -hmm. Uh, very fast, and we don't want players to get annoyed. What do you um, so that's I guess possible. we'll we'll um, record yes. some more and and put them in so that you don't get so annoyed. We also have um, a, a nuisance counter. If you like, click on the uh, on the menu repeatedly, they they, they get annoyed with you and start, uh, and ask you to stop bothering again. Also, something we we took inspiration okay. from from real time strategy games like Warcraft or so. Yeah, so actually, you're talking about inspiration. What uh, were the things that inspired you to do high rises? Well, um, I, um, from the, the graphical style, was like um, uh, I was um, born um, yeah. 80, 81, so I was like I was 10 years old when Sonic the Hedgehog came out. So this this pixel side graphic thing was was exactly the, the thing of my my youth mm -hmm. and for the gameplay we we used to have um like a fact sheet where we um set for inspirations we took from movies we took um like the uh if i am legend with will smith would meet the martian because i am legend is this like post-apocalyptic survival thingy where there are um crowds uh, in the darkness and you're all alone and you have to survive and the Martian there is this um, thing uh, the scene where he sits there and we need to we gotta science the shit out of this and this was like what we wanted for high res so you have this problem you have That's 
the helicopter damaged, you have the oncoming hordes of, of dreamers, you have the lack of food, and you have all this stuff in those buildings that you can take apart and reassemble and do and, and use to solve the problems you have. So if, if they're like, um, if you lack certain resources, you can, with the right skills, um, combine combine your stuff to get to get what you have you ever clicked on a skill tree skill tree this one yeah, it's the skills um ah. this skills are not active here but we can still look at the, at the skill trees if you want to um, yeah sure can just click one of them okay so this is jess correct yeah and uh, like she has uh, three branches and each of them um, like fits one of her of, uh, aspects of personality. So she's this, this young hacker girl. So and the top branch is all stuff electronic. Then the, the bottom right one is things that focus on her or on her aspect as a as an urban scavenger. She's been living on the streets and has several stuff to, to improve her looting. While the the lower left one is more her her ninja guerrilla tactics um, kind of thing which you can use to lure the dreamers and to attack them from the from the from back or mm. oh, that's the okay so she can like yeah kind of do stealth attacks yeah arranged weapons okay understand cool very different okay now i want to look at the others so what about <laughs> I... Okay, firearm. So he's more the close combat the, guy. Looks like he it. Was the, he was an um, uh, army pilot and, and mechanic in, in the army. So you have three parts. The where you are just right is the military part, mm -hmm. where he um, focuses on his military training. And the lower left part is the pilot tree which focuses on um, things that he learned as a, as a helicopter mechanic so you can upgrade and repair the helicopter better and put it with additional um, uh, propulsion methods and the top one is the mechanic part here he focuses on um, crafting and repairing things and building more complex machinery you never get enough um, unlocks to Get or do all of it, so you have to like decide mm. which one to focus on. Okay, you have to decide which path you will take. Yeah. Okay, so okay. she's like a, a doctor, I, I yeah, assume. That, yeah. Exactly. The, 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 lower, the lower one is the, the, the medical part, the lower, the lower right one, um, where you can focus on, on more healing oriented uh, items or also biology for, for uh, in this level i would need this skill because we have like on the second or third level already like 10 plants <laughs> yeah yeah Ooh. okay and then and she can later the like one is, the one is like the chemistry and, and the lower one is we call it process engineering it's um advanced um machinery Then there's Mo. The Mo is really, he's, he's a Hulk. He's um, by far the largest and bulkiest of the one in the air. In this branch, you can focus on his, his physical um, attributes. So he becomes more resilient, more stronger, can carry heavier things. Can really smash uh, us away with his pure physical strength. And the upper branch is his craftsman skill. So he's a um, construction worker and skilled craftsman. Craftsman can focus on uh, you know, everything, so he can uh, unlock higher tier recipes to craft and also deal with certain uh, certain objects to find better. So if you have the, the carpentry skill and you want to disassemble a wooden table does it much faster and this this part uh, is where he focuses on his uh, uh, native american heritage he was taught by his grandfather in the ways of a hunter and he can use those skills also in an, in an urban environment 
That's very, I, I mean, it's very unusual to have that different in the uh, skill branches, like for one character. So usually I would think for a game like this, usually you have like, okay, one character is for crafting, one is medic, one is strong, one is, I don't know. But here, like every character has different paths, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's quite cool. That uh, no, the strong one is not only strong, but he can also he's also great at crafting, for example. Yeah, but if he had done it differently, he would have been locked in a certain way. Like uh, Anne has this this medical branch, but if you want healing, it means um, you need to um, you need to focus her on the medical branch. You could not do the chemistry. So if you want her to do chemistry, then some other has to. Uh, has to pitch in the healing, so you can either use I with his military part to make a field medic skill, or use Mo with his native um, skill tree and use the herbal healing. Or you can go, uh, forget about healing, I want to focus fully on something else, like if you go very happy on defense and build the best barricades ever, and you never get stretch, a scratch, then you maybe don't have to, <laughs> have to heal. That could work. Okay, so there are also quite different tactics to progress. So you don't have to do everything like always uh, building barricades or have weapons. Or uh, but you can also, for example, yeah, like you said, doing barricades only and stuff like that. Possibly, yeah. Um, it gets harder the longer you stay in, in a building. You could mm. also like forego all barricades and say you have a heavily armed um, team that you send down. They kill all resistance or, or, or incapitate them for a while and just uh, loot the most valuable stuff on the lower floors and then you run back up and try to get the helicopter in shape up again before they even know what's what's going on. Ah, oh, okay, so a speedrun uh, attempt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah possibly. That's What do you think is the most uh, difficult way? I don't know what's the most difficult. I think the speedrun is not the most satisfying. Um, because I, at least from my play side, I like to like um, bunker in and say, okay, this is my home, this is my castle, this is my barricade, no one gets in. And behind that, I try to pick up everything that's not nailed to the floor. I, I, I'm one of those completionists. I want to have the floor be picked totally clean so okay like this is done um, I, I, I don't have to leave any resources when i leave for the next building and that would be my kind of thing but that's not a weapon okay so you also have weapons in here like uh, like rifles not only uh... yep Take what we think to get all the parts for the helicopter. Yes. Yeah. That depends on um, how fast you focus on it. Because at the place that we use, we are a little bit exploring. We say, okay, we want to check things out, and so if you like really focus, like first thing you do, you run up to the helicopter and um, get um, overview of what you need, and then just scout ahead and only get this. You can do it in like three or three days within the building, as a in 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 game days. Mm -hmm. One day, uh, one day night cycle takes um, fifteen minutes. At the Crazy. Moment. It sounds for me, it sounds impossible. I I think I'm the kind of player who would take 20, 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's totally fine. The only thing that you have to worry about is each night more dreamers come. Mm. So the lower floors will soon be pretty much off limits. Like, mm. have you played FPL where this wave is following you? Uh, no. Uh, um, okay, uh, never mind. Um, that's like your, your, your spaceship and you're followed by a big space army and um, you just have to be on the run and you can go back into a system where the the rebel army is already has already invaded and it's, pretty, and it's a bit like here 
You can go on the lower floor on day seven in the building. You just won't like it. Okay. Mm. Thirty dreamers on the floor, and then you better have um, better equipment than a spike club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. Hmm. Also, you have to keep in mind that um, most resources are like they're limited. Um, there, there's tons of wood in this uh, in, in this building, but whenever your barricade gets damaged, you need a bit of wood to repair. So you lose, you're losing, you're fighting a losing battle. Even if you pick everything clean and disassemble everything, at one day you will run out of the last wooden board and the last screw that you can get hold of, and then you can no longer uh, repair your barricades, and then they will get you. So you cannot stay there forever. Oh, okay. They will push you out of the building. So what is the, I mean, um, is it also that uh, on the lower floors there are more valuable resources? Check it out. Okay, wait, let, let's go completely down. <gasps> that person. So there are sometimes there are, there are spawned um, more valuable stuff on the lower floors. Sometimes you have um, a, a parking garage on the lowest floors. Then you even have cars which you can disassemble, which have complete engines and stuff. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I I don't even know what is uh, valuable because I'm uh, not as experienced as you are, of course. But, just uh, just I... um, think think uh, intuitively um, complex machinery is always valuable um, weapons are valuable and all stuff that is rare and that you can need for a helicopter will probably also be valuable so fuel, gas that kind of stuff while yeah, basic office equipment probably is not so rare so uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. yeah okay and also see you have vending machines and plants are also not rare as it seems that's a, um, this is part of this building. So we have several different building types. I think the first one we had was an office building, and this is a vertical farm. So there is more focus on um, plants here. While if you're in a vertical factory, you will find lots of machinery and, and fuel, but maybe not so much food. And if I pass this uh, level, for example, and get the helicopter running, is the next building then automatic automatically tougher? Well, in this demo, there is only this building. Once okay, you okay. leave uh, uh, this, it's over. But in the final game, um, the next building will also be um, procedurally generated from, uh, uh, generated from scratch. And um, it's like, the, the dreamers they notice that you are in this building so in the whole city they now assemble around this building and they stream in it once you leave it they will be a bit confused and you have um, a bit of relaxing first two days in the next building until they notice that you've moved on and then they will will come there and then the difficulty curve will, all, will rise again and it will also rise con constantly over your play time so if you are in the 40th building or so they even on the first Another night they will sure. rush many, and so you have constant increase of, of overall difficulty, mm -hmm. only um, um, represented by the amount of premiums that are coming in. But you have um, also a building internal difficulty curve, which you can reset by going yes. to the next building. Oh, okay, understood. Uh, yes. What do you suggest? Okay. How can I help? Feeding everyone. Alrighty. Hmm. Yes. Um, so what is like? Uh, so you said about the valuable items for your like weapons, or you said a whole car. Is there hmm. like, I don't know, like like unique things, or is everything uh, somewhere, or are there like like special 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 items that? Uh, what is the rarest item? <laughs> 
<laughs> there is. A, well, here in this build, it would probably be um, a complex weapon that you need to construct, like a flamethrower or something. Mm -hmm. um, if you just go look at basic materials, they're like there is um, rare metals or jewels, which you need for um, if you want a, 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 a diamond drill. Or you can use um, certain tools like, like um, you are also ingredients for a laser. And with this laser, you can build a laser cutter to fastly build, craft uh, higher level metal parts. Or you could um, um, build a laser turret, possibly, if you have the right skills. Wow. Who can build a turret, even? Wow. Yeah, in for the for the nightly barricade defense. Well, the turrets are not in this demo yet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we already have have them ninety five percent ready. But we cut them because um, those last five percent were killing us, <laughs> and time was ticking away. We wanted to get a solid build. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, but you can build all kinds of turrets and oh, place them in front of your barricade to okay. defend them. Um, because yes, currently you um, you're not really in in danger. You can easily deal uh, with the spike club with uh, the lone streamers, uh, but. Once yeah, but, but as you said, I think uh, as soon as there are more than two or like three or five. Well, you can, you can just try with, with Anne. If you go on the floor where there are like three, it's possible that one of them grabs you and you're like locked for uh, some seconds and during that time the other might attack you. It will not instantly kill you, but you will get damage. You see like 25% uh, of your health is already gone, roughly. Yeah, I see, I see. And that's okay, what this was not a big combo. Let's see if I can get them. It, oh. You can you can uh, greatly improve your, your effectiveness if you also use two players, like one with the club and another one with, with some other um, weapon. Because if one of the uh, maybe a, a, a one, best would be of course someone with a rage ranged weapon. Yeah, possibly. Okay, and they don't drop anything, right? Yeah. So killing no, them is. Uh, uh, does not help me finding ingredients. Oh, what? No, I don't want to craft. <laughs> okay, now I'm all... Alrighty. I think we had a great look at the demo, Nico. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Great <laughs> seeing you ordering all your stuff. <laughs> Thank you very okay. much. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I, I think if... Uh, someone else like you for example would play or stream it uh, the progress would increase dramatically I think <laughs> yeah, well that's, uh, that's uh, obvious um, but it's it's always nice to see um, new players getting getting the neck of it and I think you did a great job thank Just you very much how, uh, the, the second run how, how effectively we <laughs> yeah the first run was like a tutorial right but <laughs> with you my tutorial guide yeah uh, again guys if you want to see more of high resource and progress more and get the helicopter repaired you can do that by now because the demo is live for everyone on steam on high risers and the demo is live until the 9th of february because of the steam game festival so if you want to take a look you can do it and i want to thank you everyone for watching the stream for staying with me until now uh, I had a great, I think, about a four, four and a half hour stream showing all the demos. And um, yes, I guess, Nico, thank you very much also for showing me the game, explaining it to me and give me some tips and tricks. I think the third run will be even better. And um, yeah, hopefully see you in another round, maybe another live stream. Let's see. Great. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more developer live streams like this, just check out our channel on twitch.tv slash assemble entertainment and I see you soon. Bye guys. Bye guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>